What a way to begin the 2020 virtual GA, our very own virtual visit to all of our Federation communities and even greetings from the top leaders in Israel. Really incredible. So now we felt it was important to turn our attention to looking back at these last eight months and how our Federation leaders and partners have navigated through the pandemic and other challenges. I'll never forget the disappointment we all felt the day we had to cancel our National Young Leadership Cabinet mission to Latvia and France. Yes, we'll never forget it. And amazing how long ago that seems. So much incredible work went into the planning by some of our best cabinet leaders with over 100 of us who were scheduled to go. It was truly heartbreaking to have to cancel. And I know that same heartbreak was also felt throughout our Federation system and Jewish community in large and small ways, especially during the early days of the pandemic. Since then, it has been incredibly powerful and moving to watch our federations and partners come together to do extraordinary things in order to support our communities here and around the world. It has been remarkable and beautiful. and makes me so proud to be part of the Federation Collective. So let's take a look back, a comprehensive look back to see what we have all lived through over these past eight months. In March, our world turned upside down. Seniors everywhere began falling ill, schools shuttered, hospitals overflowed, families worldwide were told to stay home. And together, we all mourned. And while the world was in such darkness, Federation found a way to notice me. A 25-year-old getting ready to enter my master's degree program. As my summer, and honestly, my life plans shifted, Federation stepped in and created an experience focused on young adults, the Jewish change makers. This summer, I participated in the Change Makers Fellowship. I was supposed to be teaching acting to kids, but due to the pandemic, it was canceled. And so, of course, being a journalism major, I had to learn everything I could. Just like Federation had set out to notice me, I set out to learn more about Federation. What you're going to see is my investigation of Federation's extraordinary leadership since the start of the pandemic. Meet Mark Baker. I can hey, hear you, Mark, but hi, I can't now, can see you. See me? They, okay, there, you're great. Okay, good. <laughs> I'm here just trying to learn more about what Federation does. So if you had just one sentence to describe Federation, what would you say? Federation is a dynamic platform for mobilizing people and philanthropy to make a bigger difference than any of us could on our own. And in this pandemic, what do you think has been so incredible about the work of Federation? What we've accomplished together is extraordinary. Federations from across this continent came together and raised and distributed more than $175 million of emergency funds. And that's on top of the $1 billion raised and allocated annually, all to help our Jewish communities in the face of this incredibly challenging pandemic. How was Federation able to raise so much money when so many people were losing their jobs? With everyone feeling so anxious and so isolated, how were they able to provide such incredible leadership during this time? To help me learn, I got in touch with some of the top leaders in our federations. I think what the strength of federation in that moment was, is that in panicking times, we did not act panicked. When the pandemic began, we, we set priorities for, for 2020. All of our agencies stopped fundraising for themselves and joined with us in what was truly a united Jewish appeal to address our community's most urgent needs. We got in front of donors. We were able to articulate the need in a really powerful way and then really quickly survey the community to figure out what those needs really were and then target those grants in really strategic ways. But what did federations really do? One area that I think is worth focusing on is PPE. PPE is necessary for 
every single agency, every single organization, and that ability to work with federations across the country to make purchasing those possible has been unbelievable. And of course, as I learned more about federations, I also learned a little about the national organization JFNA and the critical role it played in helping nonprofits nationwide access the necessary government funding to hold off deep economic decline. Hello, I'm Colleen from the Torah Academy of San Antonio. Our school really needs the help right now. We have parents not paying tuition, etc., and our biggest fundraiser has, has been canceled. This effort enabled the Jewish community to access more than half a billion dollars in public funds so they could sustain day schools and synagogues, healthcare agencies, Jewish community centers, and programs that sustain vibrant Jewish life. I met up with Miriam Rosenzweig, president and CEO of the Milwaukee Jewish Federation. When it came to the PPP loans, I have to say I really saw the national movement come together and support us in a way that I've never experienced. I knew the work had to go past dollars raised and allocated. I knew it had to impact real lives. Meet Kathy, a Jewish professional from a small federation who spends her time year-round supporting the elderly in the community. I have been fortunate enough that they hired Catherine. And she comes to visit people, and she'll visit just to visit sometimes. You have trouble going to the store, she'll take you to the store. If you have trouble getting food, she'll help provide food for you. Anything, she's there. That's a wonderful thing to have. Because Federation does crucial work all of the time, during this unprecedented time, they were already there, able to be attentive and supportive of those who needed it most. There were the kind of creative uh, expressions that, that you saw, like having um, the youth in our various youth movements going out and singing and performing to um, elderly Holocaust survivors who were shut-ins in their apartment and they just stood on the balconies while the, the students uh, serenaded them from below. Thank you so much for being here and we're so happy to perform for you. I got to meet doctors in Israel and hear just how much Federation's work meant to them. Nobody expected such a pandemic. We were able to save more lives because your Federation for Jewish Philanthropy spearheaded the drive that allowed us to purchase this device. But as you know, Federation's work overseas doesn't just stop in Israel. Federation's work, your work, travels around the world, to 70 countries in fact. Я благодарю тех, кто обеспокоит нас, хоть не, не ходим, но видите, нам уже второй подарок дают. Дай Бог здоровья. So what should be the takeaway for me? I think being part of Federation and being a leader has given us a unique gift to be present at a time when we're really needed. I have never seen our community more united and stronger in its shared purpose than today. If you want to be part of something greater than yourself, if you want to amplify your voice and magnify your generosity to create a brighter Jewish future and a better world, then join us. Be part of this local, national, and global movement that we call Federation. We need you. There's a rich history, but there's also a bright future because, because of the infrastructure that is created year in, year out by leaders like you. Thank you, Federation leaders, for your leadership.